And it's time for trash talking. Talking a little trash. So anyway, time to have a little bit of wine and time for me to stop procrastinating and take out some trash. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Oh my goodness, I did not do too much last week at all. I got to have Mr. Griffin for the week and he was very, very clingy. So we didn't do any videos or anything like that. I had some videos that I had pre-recorded and I had wanted to um, put some things in between so it didn't look like that's all I did was drink wine. But we didn't get a chance to do that, but... I had fun cuddling with Mr. Griffin all week. So anyway, he went home and, you know, it's time for me to take some trash out. You know what I mean? Sometimes it just sits around forever and I keep putting it off and putting it off. But you know what? It's Saturday night. It's time for wine and trash. So one of the first things that I'm going to, one of my empties here is this vampire wine. Now I don't show you all my, my empties because, you know, that's pretty embarrassing. But Anyway, I finished this vampire wine that I opened on Halloween night. Did a little video having this with some dinner. And also that one had a giveaway on it. So I am going to leave uh, that video posted up here because the giveaway is on the 14th. And just in case you didn't get a chance to see it, just a little reminder to go back. It is a giveaway. It is going to be, and I keep wanting to call this Henny and Rue, but it's Henny and Lev, I believe. And it's this kind of like a caramel color tote bag or butterscotch or... But it's got a pocket right here, an outer pocket. It isn't lined. Bottom is the uh, dust cover bag right here. So we've got some generous pockets right here. And there's none on the other side. But it's a nice bag for fall. I love this color. If I didn't already have a couple of handbags with this color, I would keep it for myself. And to try to keep the shape, because they had it pretty much folded up in my boxy box. box. Um, I'm going to give you that same box. But I've got this full of some items in here. And I'm going to go through them all. I'll just kind of hold it up right there so you can see some items. We've got cosmetic back in there from Vino that we have that uh, filled up. I don't remember if I showed you the sunglasses that I had in here. But they are, this case was a little extra at one time. Free sunglasses. And then they're, they're kind of like this mirrored type sunglass. So we'll have that in there. There's some palettes in here. There's some goodies that I know somebody will use if not me so this will be in this bag to hold the shape it is just going to fit into that uh, usps that large box so i will have a donut on it because if you cut it with scissors and or a knife and you go too far you will end up scratching it i'll try to protect it as much as i can but that box will be pretty much full so just be very careful when you open it so again it will be that Penny and Lev, this caramel or cognac, maybe that's what they call it, this caramel color or this cognac bag, and some goodies from, it's uh, like boxy luck things are in here, some ipsy things are in here, some vinyl things are in here, probably look fantastiques in here, and glossy box so just a mix match of things that I know I'm not going to be able to use so I would rather give it to someone that can use it and again that video will be posted up there that's going to have the the rules and everything like that for the giveaway it will be on November 14th so good luck everyone so anyway starting with and I always go the wrong way here so anyway on that video I had this vampire wine. So anyway, I just figured I might as well finish this tonight and get it out of the refrigerator. So I don't have too much left, but this is enough. And this one was a Pinot Noir. I really, really enjoyed the vampire wine, the Cabernet Sauvignon. The Pinot Noir is good. Actually, they're both good. I would buy both of them again. Cheers, everyone. Happy Saturday night. Mmm so good so anyway since i haven't done uh 
empties in so long. I had quite a bit, but I wanted to show you this. So this is um, tequila. It's the ultimate margarita mix, and it was peach. And I think when I opened this, and I said, oh, I'm so glad I opened this because, you know, it was kind of tart. I didn't think I was going to like it. But by the time I finished the video, I loved it. So it took, oh, maybe a month and a half of just having a little bit on the weekends. But I finally finished it. I would definitely buy this again next year. So this was 1800, the ultimate margarita peach. It was really tart, but it was really, really good. I would definitely do that again. So I have got so many things. I've got them in this Amazon box. And I'm going to try to pay attention to the time so that if I start to go over, I'll just put things back in the box, which I usually do, and then they really build up on me. So like I said, it's been a while since I did one. These are the different masks that I have in here. There's some eye mask in here. There's a couple of foot masks in here or feet mask in here and some eye mask and just the regular facial mask. I love using these sheet masks. And again, along with these, I've used some others um, for the past couple of months. I finally finished up some di dish soap from Scentsy. This was Cranberry Dreams or Cloudberry Dreams. So I haven't got a whiff box in a while, but I got a couple of these. I never had to pay for them. They were in my whiff box. They last forever. Using one now. I think I've got another empty sitting in there, but I'll only show you the one for now. So, yeah, I love this dish soap. It really lathers. It feels like it's really nice and moisturizing on your hands. It cleans the dishes. It cuts the grease. What more do you want from a dish soap, right? So, um, this was body wash. And I get different ones that are on sale or whatever. But this one was Caress. It was the black orchid and patchouli oil. Really like that one crest because I'm a crest girl. We had this, um, and this probably came from either Glossy Box or Look Fantastique. This one is the shampoo with CBD, the Otre. Didn't really notice anything different. I had the uh, shampoo, I had the conditioner. I might have done the conditioner at another time because I go through the conditioner a lot more than I go through the shampoo. It's nothing special. I mean, if I got it in a box, I would use it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to look for it or to buy it. This was, and I forgot what kit I got these in, but there was Morphe. There was like a cleaner, a moisturizer, and something else. Um, so this one was the moisturizer. So I did end up using that. I did like it. I wouldn't probably go out of my way to, to get, buy it again, but I did enjoy it. This was a cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. This one had uh, it said Daily C, so it had vitamin C or something in it as well, the Vitabrand. This one probably came from Boxy Lux. I did enjoy using it. I really do like using cleansing balms. Of course, it had this protective cover. It is all gone, and I just really enjoy using the cleansing balms and oils. They just are so moisturizing, and I was terrified to use them until I saw some other people say that they were really nice for the skin. I mean, it melts anything off your face, dirt, grime, whatever, sweat, makeup. Love using that. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Um, maybe if it was like in an add-on sale or something like that, I would get it. Um, these, I still have some in here. This is the Gen Skin Eye Mask. And I used to love these because, you know, it comes 30 in a pack. I got them at, like add ons in Ipsy or BoxyCharm. And I really, really liked them until I got some new ones from Style Vayner, Style Vana, that box that they sent me to try. Those eye masks are so, so different than this one. So I am just going to throw these out. I figure I keep them when I'm, I get something that I like much better. This probably came, well, this came from one of the boxes. It's mascara called Grand Mascara. And it did have an okay wand. It got clumpy. I mean, it didn't, I didn't get to really finish it. It just, I don't know if maybe it doesn't close tight or you think you close it and it doesn't. And then it's like once air gets in there, it just kind of clumps. And yeah, so I wouldn't go out. I wouldn't buy this again. I mean, if it came in a box, I would use it. But it's something that I know it doesn't, it's not going to last a long, long time. This was Cat Berkey and it was a vitamin C cream. 
and I did enjoy using this. This I've actually got in, um, I think it was, it could have been Ipsy, it could have been BoxyCharm, but I got it in one of my boxes. I, I liked it, and then they had a buy one, get one free type thing, so I've done that a couple of times, so I do enjoy using this. I would buy it, like in the add-ons. I think it's really expensive, but in the add-ons, it's so affordable. This was another little cleansing balm. It was a sample. And uh, one of the guys I work with, his wife is always like giving me little little gifts and things. So she gave me a little goodie box and this was in there. So it was this cleansing balm. And it was it was enough to, to use like twice. And it was really nice. I do really like the cleansing balms. And it's been so long since I've done... The, a full ipsies. I had two uh, secrets in here because I am a secret girl. We had this Foxy Babe, this leave-in mask for hair. And I did go through that. I just used it as like an after conditioner. I didn't rinse it out or anything like that. Once I towel dried my hair and I had that little hooby thing on, you know, to kind of get most of the moisture out. Then I put this on, brush it, stick it behind my head or whatever and yeah I mean I did enjoy using it I don't think it really made a huge difference in my hair but if I got it in another box I would use it again and this was complex culture clarity so I think this was probably like a setting type powder and had that screen in here that you would just kind of I have no idea how that works but you take your brush and you go like this and you get stuff on it did enjoy using it. That was a, a good product. I would definitely get this again. So I'm pretty sure this was, was in an Ipsy. This is Pepper Alley. So it was a moist, kind of like a re detangler that you could use on your hair. And I do get some tangles, nasty tangles sometimes. I don't really think it made a huge, huge difference, but it did smell nice and it was really nice and easy to comb out. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but if I came in another box, I would use it. We have got, and this I, I actually probably used way beyond its life. Um, I forgot what company it was, but it was um, Young Eek. And um, so I had got some eyeshadows and this mascara, Epic Mascara. And I did really like this. I mean, I used it well beyond when I'm sure I shouldn't have used it anymore. But it's just a, just a regular wand. I did like it. It, it lengthened, lengthened. I like volumizing too. So it did both in the same step. I would definitely get this again if I were to attend another party. We've got some. And this one, oh my gosh. Um, I still have a ton downstairs. So I might have to just go and check them. I went to get uh, one of my eyeliner sticks. This one is by Bare Minerals. I haven't been downstairs in like five years. And so this is probably maybe six to ten years old. And I did use to went to use it and the color still came off, but you really had to press to get it to come on for your eyeliner. And I don't like having to put that much pressure on my eyes. So I mean when it was new, I loved it. I should have gone downstairs and got them brought them up upstairs years ago, but I didn't. This was kind of like a midnight blue color. It was really pretty in its day, but it's a little hard to put on, so that's going out. Um, this one was another one from Bare Minerals. This one was black. And um, again, the same thing. I mean, there's still product here, but it's just so dry that it's it's just not comfortable to put on when you have to kind of really stretch your eyelid and press. So that one's getting thrown out. And again, because, um, yeah, it's been so well. Yeah, there's nothing, a toothpaste. It's not that I eat the toothpaste and whatever. And I've got a um, hodgepodge of Scentsy in here. It's not all my Scentsy, but I've got these wax bars in here. Some of these are summer, some are from last winter, some are from fall. So there's like Ocean, which is really nice. Blue Hyacinth. We've got Prickly Pear and Agave. We've got Ariel, just really nice scents here. Right now, I am using some of my fall scents, and I have got Raisin, Walnut, Muffin, or something like that going. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Uh, Jimmy Time, one of my favorites. It's got lavender in it and freesia. 
this Disney Cinderella one. This is like a really, really sweet gardenia. I love this one in the bedroom. We've got, uh, this one is from last uh, Christmas, icicles and evergreen. We've got inhale, exhale. This one is really nice when you kind of feel like you're kind of stuff, stuffy or your sinuses just need to be cleared. That one's a really good one. This one, I can't read what it says. Buttercream. This one was really good. Buttercream. I think that's it for my Scentsy. Um, this one, um, and I'm really proud of myself for throwing this out. There's a lot of lipstick here left. This is from It, and it's Gente Qua or something. It's supposed to go on everybody a little bit different. It's just too dark for me. Um, the formula is nice. I just don't like the color on me. So I'm being good. Throwing that out. This one was a lip mask. I think I'm about 15 minutes. So this one was by Avant. And I really did not like it at first. And I put it in my empties pile. Because I really like the one from Seraphine or something whatever it was the apple butter and whatever and somehow going in my pocketbook and back and forth because i was working in the office at the time i lost it but i wanted a lip mask so i took it out of my empties ended up using it ended up liking it i think this little thing was like a 90 dollars product and i think i got this in probably glossy box or look fantastic this I am throwing it out. I'm not using it. This is Yensa, and I really like the Yensa. It just was the wrong color for me. I tried mixing it with um, some of those ones that were light, but then it was just kind of too thick for me. I didn't like the coverage. It was really, really heavy. I tried mixing it with um, primer instead of putting on the primer first. I mixed it with my primer, but it just it just looked streaky. It just it was just too heavy for me. I just I like light coverage. This was a setting spray. It's Bella Pierre. Probably got this in Look Fantastic or um, Glossy Box. I did like it, but the sprayer, I mean, it came out like you were spray painting something. It was like hard and fast. I put it in another bottle not too long ago, so I am using it, but I'm going to throw this out. Um, and again, it's like a setting spray that you use on your face, but it came out like a stream. So I put it in a different sprayer and it works much better almost done and um oh this is a liquid liner that i got in one of the boxes and i just um i just didn't like it it was just was a really weird formula it was like you go to do a line and it was like it wasn't smooth it was like something was mixed with it or something because it was brand new when i got it so just gonna toss that and sustain this is one uh an eye drop and I have got just that one drippy eye from, I, I really don't understand it. Um, it was when I had the cancer removed and it was behind my eye. So they said they nicked the tear duct or whatever. So it sends a message to the brain that your eyes dry, but it's not. And so it just keeps dripping. So anyway, this helps. I, I don't understand how your brain thinks your eye is dry. So it makes your tears go crazy, but then you put drops in and it stops i don't understand it but it works in my one drippy eye so love that almost done so this was um probably came in ipsy or oh, probably ipsy it was mirror red it was a serum and i did enjoy using that the last item everybody and it's bare minerals this is my complexion rescue it's like a tinted like a tinted hydrating cream i i don't i don't know like a beauty cream or cover cream or cc or something so this one is vanilla and um i think it's vanilla yeah vanilla so yeah this is what i i use basically for my foundation i mix it back and forth with different things that i get in like the beauty bags but and i love the one from it uh cosmetics as well i get that on auto delivery as well as this one and yeah so that's it for my empties emptied that box so i'm finally glad to be rid of that it's takes me forever to do these videos i have no idea why but anyway um yeah probably getting into about, about 20 minutes so i just again want to remind you about that giveaway again that video will be linked up here um it ends on the 14th then it's for that henny and Le lev um that cognac or 
caramel colored tote bag and the box of goodies and i'm going to sit back finish my wine and uh we will all chit chat again later if you've used any of these products let me know how you like them i it takes me so long that i don't remember where i got them from i just kind of know would i buy it again would i not buy it again i guess that's really the most important thing right so anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun and we will see you in the next video love you guys Bye.